proteins are classified into two main groups on the basis of their tertiary structure. Fibrous proteins, which are proteins that have a tertiary structure that are made from long, coiled chains. They play a structural role in organisms and are usually insoluble in water. Examples include collagen. These proteins provide strength to ligaments, tendons, bones and skin. Being the most common structural protein found in animals, approximately 35%, Looking at a single polypeptide chain in this structure, it is composed of repeating units of glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline, which are called the alpha chain. Three alpha helix chains wound together in a tight triple helix, together with other bundles, form collagen fibrils. These collagen fibrils, together with other collagen fibrils, form the collagen fiber. Other fibrous proteins include elastin and keratin. Globular proteins are proteins that have a tertiary structure that is generally spherical. The molecules are usually folded so that their hydrophobic regions are on the inside of the molecule and the hydrophilic regions are on the outside. This makes these molecules soluble in water. They have a variety of roles, but the common example includes enzymes, hormones, and hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is an iron-containing protein found in the red blood cells. About 95% of the dry weight of the red blood cell consists of hemoglobin. They play an important role in the transport of oxygen. In the oxygenated state, it is called oxyhemoglobin and is bright red. Made up of four polypeptide chains, each chain has a heme group composed of a porphyrin attached to an iron atom. Each iron porphyrin complex allows one oxygen molecule to bind reversibly. Hemoglobin is an example of a conjugated protein. These are proteins that are joined with other molecules. Other examples of conjugated proteins can be seen in lipoproteins. These molecules are formed when proteins conjugate with lipids, they play an important role in transporting cholesterol. There are two main examples, HDLs and LDLs. Or glycoproteins, these are molecules formed when proteins conjugate with carbohydrates. On the cell membrane, their hydrophilic nature allows them to function in the aqueous environment where they're able to act as cell-to-cell -cell recognition and the binding of other molecules. In the body, they are also used as lubricants in mucus and the synovial fluid in joints. Proteins that are made from more than one polypeptide chain are described as having the quaternary protein structure. An example of this is hemoglobin, which is made from four polypeptide chains. If you wish to test for the presence of proteins, you can use the Biret test. The Biret Biret test works by detecting the presence of the peptide bond. The copper ions bind as shown in the diagram, causing a violet colour to appear. The intensity of the violet colour is portion of the concentration of protein and can be determined using colorometry. Hi, my name is Mr. Science, aka Salim. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And for more teaching resources, you can visit my website at www.mrscience.co.uk.